The Palestinians are deadlocked with Israel and deadlocked amongst themselves. So what do they do now? This week, in a special edition, Conflict Zone is coming to you from the Berlin Foreign Policy Forum. And my guest is the veteran Palestinian chief negotiator, Saab Erekat. If his dream of an independent state ever came true, what would it look like? Saab Erekat, welcome to Conflict Zone. Good to see you, Tim. You're a reluctant peace negotiator these days. How many times have you tried to resign the post? You said a few years ago eight times, but it's probably more now, isn't it? I don't have a job since 2014. I'm jobless since Netanyahu stopped the negotiations. So I'm, I've been busy with my health. But the Palestinians are closing doors as well, aren't they? Well, closing think... doors with the Americans? Well, nobody benefits more from opening doors with the Americans than Palestinians, and nobody loses more in closing doors than Palestinians. Well, that's, why, was... that's why President Abbas told uh, Donald Trump, damn your money and may your house be destroyed. No, that's uh, President Abbas uh, and myself met with President Trump and his team in 2017 37 times. I think we hold the records. And then you came out with that. And then, all of a sudden, President Trump decided to take unilateral dictation steps rather than negotiations. He declared Jerusalem as Israel's capital, moved the embassy to Jerusalem. Then he closed. didn't say it couldn't be your capital as well, did he? <laughs> what did, he what, didn't say that. What did he say? What did he say, Tim? Do you remember what he said? Of course I remember what he said. I was in the White House 30th of November, meeting with Jared Kushner and Jason Greenblatt, planning for my president to come and meet President Trump on December 5th. He said and he was not ruling out Jerusalem no, no, as part I, of I, your capital I'm, as well. I'm going to tell you facts. Please. I tell Mr. Kushner tomorrow, 30th of December, you're supposed, 30th of November, 1st of December, you're supposed to sign on the, not moving the embassy. And he said to me, no, we're not going to do it. I said, then my president trip is canceled. You want to meet my president on the 5th and declare it on the 6th? So you make him look like he's colluding with you? He said, you can't do that. I said, I can't do that. And if you do this, if you recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital, you would have disqualified yourself from any role in the peace process. Sub Erekat, the fact remains, you can't get on with this administration. You're not going to work it. You, say, you said they're not honest brokers. You've said that. You've accused them of not being honest brokers. Over the years, you've worked with many US administrations who were much better disposed towards you and you couldn't do a deal with them either. So you keep on waiting for someone better to come into the White House? Well, you know, you can say this, and you can say that as Palestinians, I have recognized the state of Israel right to exist and live in peace and security next to the state of Palestine on the 67 lines. I did that. I accepted resolutions 242 and 338. My president accepted no violence, only through negotiations. And having done all of this, I'm asking my Israeli colleagues, if we don't help ourselves as Israelis and Palestinians, nobody else will help us. Decisions are required from me and the Israelis. Americans, so British, Germans point, cannot you've make got peace to with me. Sit down with the Americans. Well, I sat with the it, Americans. It, yeah, they, but you're not, they, there's no peace process now taking on, place. What shall is I? There? What shall I sit with them to do? Thirty-seven meetings. They refused to say two states on sixty-seven. They moved their embassy. They closed their consulate, which they established in 1844 in So what are you Jerusalem. telling me? You're out of ideas. No, I'm not. You're out I'm of not, ideas. No, 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 look. You've I'm got not, nothing no, to no, offer. I'm going to recline my... Okay, so answer me this I'm question. Gonna recline, what is your next finish. move? Let What's me your finish. next move? To recline my feet, okay? Because I've done everything humanly possible to make peace. Nobody I'm there. ever does everything. I am Nobody there. Ever does I'm everything. there. Now, look, Tim. From the River Jordan, my hometown, Jericho, which you know, to the Mediterranean, 50.9% are me, the Christian and Muslim Palestinians, and 49.1% are them. And General Dickel said today that the only option is the two-state solution. I'm asking you what and your I say next that's the only move option. is, Saab Erekat. My next You're move... You're not talking to anybody. No, no, you no. say there's no point talking to anybody. No, I'm not saying I'm not talking to anybody. I'm talking to you, I'm talking to the Europeans, I'm talking to the Russians. 
Look, we went as far. And you can't get a deal without the Americans. No, look, and you know that. Where, the, where, are, you know the that. where are the Americans? You know, you, you, someday you, know you will have to sit down with them. Someday. <laughs> I did not stop meeting with someday them. Someday you will have to sit down. I did not stop meeting with them because they, you know, once Theodore Roosevelt said that the White House is an office of international morality, and he's right. And this White House requires giant statesmen, not real estate agents. They think by twisting my arm, by blackmailing me, by cutting $844 million aid to me, including hospitals in East Jerusalem, the only cancer center, eye center, the French hospital, by cutting $230 million of these poor Palestinians and $304 million from United Nations Relief and Work Agencies, they think they can, I can. It's a real estate deal to sell Jerusalem? Of course not. Superpowers, look. Let me, let me, let let me, me just, ask you Just this. let me say one sentence. Please. Throughout please. history, we've seen powers and superpowers come and go. Anyone who puts his ideology, conviction, belief above his thoughts will doom us and him. And President Trump, look, I have 612 pages of minutes. When I summarize them, I'm not only worried about Palestinians and Israelis. It's, I'm worried about you in Europe. It, it's fine. I'm worried about Latin America. It's I'm worried fine. about it's Africa. Fine. I'm worried about the Spanish waking up one morning, finding out Barcelona, the capital of Catalonia, because the price is right, or the Kurel Islands. Sooner or later, Sab Erekat, you have to talk to him. You've been heavily criticized for what some people have called a scattergun approach, both to diplomacy and decision making. The Palestinian academics, Hussein Aga and Ahmed Khalid mm -hmm. from Oxford University, they referred last year to what they said was a series of seemingly inconsistent and poorly thought out diplomatic moves. That's your territory. Like what they call the unconvincing threats to dismantle the Palestinian Authority. How many times has that been threatened? Many well, times, look, never happened. Look, I'm so happy. The pursuit of desperate and futile initiatives, mm. such as the French proposal in 2016 for an international peace conference. You're still calling for an international peace conference under the UN auspices. It's not gonna happen. Tim, is it? You know I'm, that. I'm so happy that you're quoting my colleagues, Aga Khaldi, because, you know, Palestinians don't need to see with the eyes of Abu Mazen or Saab Arakat or listen through our ears and speak through our tongues. You know that you can say anything about us. We are a full democracy. Really? We well, make, we'll come on to that in a We'll come on to that We make mistakes. We make, we're human beings. We just we'll come like on you. to your crackdown on no, free we, speech we, a bit later. We, 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 make Saab we, make, we make mistakes. When you talk about we democracy. Make, we make mistakes. But let me finish my point about the other point before you get me into the other one. All right? What I'm telling you, no one benefits more from reaching peace more than Palestinians. And no one stands to lose more in the absence of peace more than Palestinians. If that were I true, done, Saab look, Arakat, look, but why don't you end your factional divisions because they are killing your chance of peace? I agree with you. This is on me. Yeah, it's on I you. Agree. I agree with you. you. And well, you don't do it year no, really. after year after year, the same factional divisions with Hamas, with the other Palestinian factions. You can't have, do it. You can't have, put aside your factional interests for the sake of the Palestinian people. You know, we have 26 Palestinian political parties, and our only request for Is that an excuse? Look, Hamas is a Palestinian political party. I'm not trying to exclude them. All I'm telling them, Tim, we differ. But once we differ, it's ballots and not bullets. And they have to understand that I cannot have a Palestinian state without having one authority, one gun, and the rule of law. Yes, everybody tells truth. you that, but Nobody year, tells me this. year this after year you this fail is for me. to do it. No, I'm not, I'm not failing to do it. They have taken over Gaza by arms, a coup d'etat. They're dictating themselves, and all we're telling yesterday we were in Cairo, asking to implement the agreement we signed with them in 2017. And what does the agreement specify? That the national consensus of government we formed with them, with Hamas, Shoulder its responsibilities equally in the West Bank and Gaza, and we go to ballots. So, Eric, What's wrong with that? They, they blame you, and you blame them. I'm not and, blaming and it, them. And it doesn't go I'm saying, forward. I'm saying facts. It doesn't go forward, does it? Look. I'm, You're not giving me a plan to take this forward and end putting, those factional I'm, I'm, divisions. I'm putting a plan to them. When Hania came to present his cabinet, and I think you were there, to the parliament, our parliament, I was speaking on behalf of the loyal opposition, I said to him, Mr. Haniya, today you are no longer a prime minister of Hamas. You are my prime minister. Act as such. Well, that didn't Shoulder work. the responsibilities. It, it didn't work. So what can I do? It didn't work. What can I do? Well, your president goes before the United Nations Security Council and he says, I beg of you, help us. You've got to help yourselves. 
We're trying to you have to sort out these factional disputes yourself. We're and it's not just trying. Hamas, is it? It's not just Hamas. Last month's meeting of your Central Council, the Democratic Front for the Liberation of Palestine, they weren't there. The Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, they weren't there either. They didn't turn That's up, they right. said, because you are stalling and procrastinating about decisions. That's not true. That was their accusation. Look, I'm the Secretary General. Face facts, the look, movement look. is falling apart. I am, your Palestinian I am, movement is falling apart. I am the Secretary General of the PLO. The Democratic Front attends all PLO Executive Committee meetings till yesterday. They decided not to come to the Central Council. That is their decision. I cannot stand guards on their lips. I cannot stand guards on their actions. As I told you, we are a full democracy. The reasons they boycotted, they, you can ask them why they, they boycott. Failure of the Palestinian National Movement is just a hallucination term. And please stop hallucinating. I have seven grandchildren, and believe me, they will be much more nationalist and much more unified than me and your generation. Look at, look at the latest polling in September. Palestinian okay. polling, 62% want your president to resign. 67% are dissatisfied with the performance of the Palestinian Authority. Three quarters view conditions today as worse than before the Oslo Agreement. They are. So what have you achieved for they your are. people? What they have are. you achieved you know, for your my, people? If my president wanna, wants to go to Amman, he seeks a permission from the Israeli commander. You don't answer. What have when you we're achieved? Under, we're under your occupation. Look, 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 what have you achieved? We'll look what we achieved. What? Look at the World Bank. Worst conditions. No, no, no. Look at the World Bank report and the International Monetary Fund report, 2014, 15, 16, 17. We have done. We're a very young authority. We're crawling, 20 years old. We have done in these 20 years more than any country in the third world did in 63 years. That's the truth. In terms of building institutions. And democracy. your people have had enough of it. Human rights. Look, they have the right. Have had enough they of have it. the right. This is why we want to go to elections. I did not come, and President Abbas did not come to be the president by a tank or by a heredity. He came through elections. He won by 61% of the votes. I won by 57% of the votes, not 99%. That's the fact. And he that is, now, he President is 13 Abbas, years he into has, a four-year term. He said he it's wants to go in. to elections, and he declared he's not going to run. Well, when are you right. having elections? When we you have, keep saying. No, if we have elections without Gaza, what will you say to them? We're separating. You think we can have a state so without why Gaza? So you keep calling for elections? You promised elections this year. I need this elections year. to unify my people. You personally promised no, no. elections yes, this year. That's what I did. I'm, I'm doing it now. And I'm urging the Egyptians. The Egyptians are doing a fantastic job now. President Abbas was with President Sisi 10 days ago, and he told him, Mr. President, you specify the steps in accordance with the timelines, and I'm willing to go along with it as long as we reach the ballots and not the bullets. And you say you can't have elections until you're unified. Whatever strategy you thought you were employing to make things better for your people, it's not working, is it? And in Gaza, you've actually been helping to cause hardship. You asked Israel to cut electricity to Gaza. That's not true. Because of a row with Hamas over that's, that's not true. You didn't ask them? That's not true. You did. Look, look I have you did. A, No, no, I have an overloaded wagon of complexities, all right? You know why Netanyahu cut the negotiations with me on 23rd of April 2014? Because we signed the Shata Agreement with Hamas. And he said to me that evening, you choose peace between me and you or you and Hamas. So and he suspended the negotiations ever since. I have an overloaded wagon of complexities. I'm 20 years old. I commit mistakes. I'm not saying I don't commit, but I don't wake up in the morning and say today I'm going to commit the following mistakes. You're, you're squeezing, am, you're squeezing doing of Gaza. You're squeezing I'm under of occupation. Gaza. I'm under occupation. I have $196 million monthly income after the Americans cut $800. I pay to Gaza, Mahmoud Abbas, my president, pay to Gaza monthly $96 million and spend the $100 million in the West Bank. Erica, That's my capabilities. Okay, your action has put hospital operations at risk in Gaza, water pumps, the sewage system, huge my health actions? risks. My actions? You squeeze them. Well, how can I squeeze them? them? I'm paying $96 million, half of my budget, 50%. What can I do? I pay the electricity for Israel, the water for Israel, and then they collect, Hamas collects, and they don't put it back in the finance ministry. And when people protested in the streets in June about your action, you arrested dozens of them and your security forces beat them up in custody. And you tell me how democratic you are. Well, look, if you want me to be perfect, I'm not perfect. If this you is very me, far listen, from look, being look, perfect, look, look, isn't it? Look, look, This is government look, look, policy. You, said, you, you said, beat you, them up you consistently. Men you mentioned one demonstration. It's true. Some people were beaten up. 
That's right. But then an investigation committee was formed the day after by President Abbas, an ongoing investigation had went. But how many demonstrations do I have on a daily basis in the West Bank against Abu Mazen, against myself? How many? Every single day. There is only one place in the Arab world where the Palestinian president is criticized on Palestinian TV, Palestinian newspapers, Palestinian. You said parties don't come and boycott and attack us. Look at every, every website. And then you're telling me that I am not. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, and you exploiting say, human and rights. You say, and you say nobody's perfect. And you I'm, say I'm nobody's not, perfect. I, no. That's not an excuse. What about the corruption? The massive corruption in Which the Palestinian corruption? Authority? Well, the latest polling in September shows that more than 80% believe that there is widespread corruption in the Palestinian Authority. They cite nepotism, bribery, abuse of public funds, and lack of transparency. You know your own independent watchdog, Aman, the Coalition for Accountability and Integrity, has issued yet another blistering report about you for the year 2017, saying that there is a lack of transparency. It said the continued dysfunction of the Palestinian Legislative Council allows the government to escape accountability. Number one, we have the anti-corruption. And you ask me what corruption is in no, Palestinian territories. Trying to answer. Do we have corruption? Yes. Last year, four Palestinian ministers were in front of the court of corruption. I think it's the only time in history of Arab and Islamic countries. But to go and to exaggerate this much, that's too much. A man has the right to review everything, to ask everything. Every single member, including me, every year have to renew exactly what's our income, where do we live, where do we come, and so on. And those who commit acts of corruption are put in front of a court. Right? That happens in Palestine. Really? Yes. In 2015, your former minister in the Palestinian Authority, Shauki al Issa, resigned over corruption. Last year, he said it was not permitted to carry out any useful action to reduce corruption. Non corrupt officials, he said, were removed. Those suspected of corruption had their positions strengthened. I know Shaukir. some kind of I know, I know Shaukir Isa. He's been in the opposition and the good opposition, and he, and he has the right to say whatever he wants. Any case of corruption, any Palestinian who claims from President Abbas down, he has the right to go to a court in the corruption and submit his case. All right? What about the case of Palestinian Airlines? This was singled out by, what, 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 by what? Aman. It said the Treasury last year continued payment of hundreds of salaries to employees in Palestinian Airlines. There is, of course, no Palestinian Airlines. Not registered in accordance with the law. There is no center of responsibility. How do you explain these hundreds of salaries when you have an airline that has flown, what, two years out of the last 13? This, our uh, four planes were destroyed by the Israelis. And uh, we have people who were working there. At London, London, London. Hundreds of salaries. Not hundreds. I it's think. a big fraud, just, South just, just, a second, just a second. Isn't it? Just a second. We have a pension system. When you work for as many years, I think 25 years. You They've flown for two years pension? out of no, no, 30. They, they were before. They've flown for two years. They were before. They to, were, they 2005 were, to 2012, they, they didn't fly. Before. We, have, we had something called uh, the President Arafat plane. They, we have pilots, we have people who maintain the planes. It was an Algerian hundreds plane. Hundreds of salaries. Not hundreds, not hundreds. You're telling maybe, me maybe, Aman got it wrong? Yeah, of course. They get you know this case wrong. intimately, Listen, do you? Look, look I know the, every case I know very intimately. And I'm so where's intimate. the money going then? The Who's money, pocketing the, money, the money? Nobody pockets any really? money. Tell Everybody. that to Aman. Yes, I'm telling that to Aman. And we review this with Aman. And by the way, Aman comes and submits the report to President Mahmoud Abbas. And if this is the case that you worry about that the problem in Palestine is my corruption, my undemocratic, and this why I'm under occupation, and this why I cannot uh, qualify Hamas, and this and this, and this okay. is your problem? Let's get, let's, no, let's get on to the real problem. Which Let, is the let's human, get to the real problem, which the human, exactly. Which is the human rights abuses. Human Rights Watch, which you've dealt with for many okay. years, has just produced its latest report, compiled okay. over two years, which features credible reports of shocking human rights abuses by your security services. Your abuses How many cases the human rights uh, specified? They invest, based their investigation on 147 interviews, okay. as you know well. Two years, yeah. As you know well. Yes. Shocking abuse. Yes. 
They say that there are violations of international humanitarian law and contravene the legal obligations that you took when you signed up to human rights treaties over the last five years. Torture, extensively documented, may amount to a crime against humanity. You, and you're telling me you're a democratic state. We are. And you allow torture on a daily basis. No, we are. We are. We are a democratic You allow torture state. on look, a daily look, basis. Look, the Human Rights Watch is a respected organization. By the way, in the newly elected executive committee of the PLO, we formed a department for human rights. We took the report very seriously. The next morning, the prime minister, myself, the minister of interior, the liberty, we met and issued a statement taking into account to study every single word in this report and formed a committee to investigate every single matter. Right? You say this every I'm not, time. I'm not You've saying said, this. You've given I'm me exactly acting, the same I'm answer over I'm acting on this. No. And if you think one day you will wake up and you find Palestinians are void of mistakes, we're not going to give I got the same mistakes. answers from you right? 10, no, 15, you, 20 you years get the answer, I got exactly you get the, the same answer. answers. You answer from me. You know them. This is the problem you with growing me. old. You, you remember know, no, no, a few no, no, things, you know? The point is you know me very well, Tim. And that you know. And I, I know you've made I'm, excuses for I'm this not behavior making year excuses. after year I'm after not, year. Look, I don't have any on saying stupid in front of you, my forehead. So every word I say, I know it's recorded, I know it's going to be on TV. I'm the only session that's going to be televised tomorrow. So I'm responsible for every single word, and you know my credibility. You live, in, Jer you live in Jericho. I don't live you? in Jericho in the house I was born in because I refuse even to rent an apartment at the expense of the. You live in Jericho. In, in the West Bank, some of the harshest treatment reported by detainees takes place in Jericho at the Joint Security Committee Detention Center. Joint Security Committee with whom? This is Human Rights Watch reporting. The this Joint is the, uh, Security Committee Detention Center. Officers force prisoners into painful stress positions, long stints in solitary confinement. A young man from the Balata refugee camp said he was twice subjected to electric shocks and once had a cord tied around his genitals. So much for signing the Convention Against Torture. We are members of the Convention Against Torture. And you we are abuse a member it. of the political rights And you violate it on a regular and basis. As I told you, the 147 cases for two years 24 months are being investigated, and each single one, people who have committed these atrocities will be held accountable. That's my promise. How many people have been held accountable? Look, how many? How many? many. How, ma how many? You can't many. tell me, can many. you? Governors. Three, five, no, no, wait a minute, seven, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, cannot, I cannot tell you numbers, but I can tell you that security officials in certain areas were sacked, fired. They were demoted. How many? Governors. How many? I, I, I really cannot, as I told you, Michael, it doesn't it mean, mean anything so much unless to me. you have a number. I will get you the number. I don't have it with me now. But many. You're also cracking down on freedom of speech as well. How? January last year, your security forces detained Faris Jabur, a student from Hebron, about his participation in a book event organized by the Islamic group at his university. He'd already been arrested five times on charges that turned out to be false. You go after these people again and again and again. He was taken on one occasion to the Jericho Detention Center where officers alternated between kicking and hitting him with a stick. You're smiling. I'm this smiling is nothing because to smile about. No, because I live in Jericho. And Nami, my this wife, is. Under your no, no. Nose. Nami under knows. Your nose. People come at knock on my door at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. in the morning and wake me up and tell me our son is there and our daughter is there and so on. And I go so with them. So you know it's and going of on. Of course. And, and then you I go and interfere on. and stop it on behalf of the president and, you and the prime minister. And you tell me how democratic you are. We at are. At the same time as you this know why, this, this is why, going this on. This is why when it happens, we stop it. We admit it. We don't hide it. We don't find excuses. We don't buy people. People have their own lips and ears and eyes. But if you want me to be the perfect model for you, I'm not perfect. Aren't you ashamed of all this? That's been in, going some, on? in some cases, I'm ashamed, yes. Is I'm ashamed. It... You know, sometimes, sometimes I can't because I'm, I'm a young authority. I'm 23 years old. I cannot differentiate between freedom of expression and incitement. Sometimes I cannot, I, I have to tell Palestinians, please, don't smear, don't talk about people because of their religion, because of their color, because of their belongings, because of their affiliation. So sometimes we have people who attack 
others for their religion and so on. I'm ashamed of it. Is this what a future Palestinian state the would future, look like? The, the future Palestinian state will be, would look Human like Human rights abuses, corruption, The discussion corruption, that's going on now. Crackdown that's, on free speech. No, 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 no. Internet that, controls. That the future of the Palestinian state will be the future of democracy, human rights, women's rights, accountability, transparency, and the rule of law. This is my so promise. So very different from what you have now. No, it's, it's that, you know. Very different. You, you mentioned we're 6 million people in the West Bank and Gaza. You mentioned 147 cases in two years, which is too much. We're dealing with each one of them separately, giving them our attention. Okay. That's what we promised. And we hope that this number will be reduced and reduced and All reduced. Right. We have to leave it there. Sabarika, thanks very much indeed. All right. Thanks. Thank you.